Hi, this is some practice problems for the gas loss test, which is tomorrow. Unless you're hearing this in the future, then who knows when the gas loss test. But anyway, we did some of these in class, but some of them we didn't. So here are some bonus ones if we get to them. Uh, this problem is, well, um, gas at a standard temperature, it's compressed to a different volume and heated to a different temperature. What's the new pressure of the gas? No mention of moles or grams, so you use the uh, combined gas on. And shove your numbers in. These numbers have to match, so liters or milliliters, you've got to convert one to the other. So I'll just make this into liters by dividing by 1,000. Now you can plug them in. The first pressure is standard pressure, so that would be one ATM. First volume is 3.25 liters. First temperature, standard temperature, which is 273 Kelvin. And the new volume is 0.473. We're solving for the new pressure. And the new temperature is 70 plus 273 is 343 Kelvin. Cross multiply and divide and find that P2 equals 8.63 atmospheres. Now you can have that in different units. If you have KPA, you'd have 101.3 here and solve. If you had millimeters of mercury, you'd have 760 here, and then you'd still solve, and you'd have different answers with different labels, but they're all the same number. All right, so next one. My car has got a volume of whatever. The sun heats my car from a temperature of 30 to a temperature of 65. What's the pressure inside my car? If it's initially 755 millimeters of mercury, volume is constant, means you don't need to use it. So it would just be P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. So plug them in. The first pressure is 755 millimeters of mercury. The first temperature is 30 degrees Celsius or um, 303 Kelvin. And you're solving for the new pressure if the new volume is 65 plus 273. 338. So cross multiply and divide that times 755 divided by 303 equals 842.2. And that would be millimeters of mercury as well. Next one unknown quantity of gas at a pressure of 1.5 atmospheres. Volume 35 liters, temperature 47. How many moles of gas do I have? Okay, so for the first question, moles is equal to PV over RT using the ideal gas law. So plug in the pressure, 1.5 atmospheres. The uh, volume is 35 liters. The R for atmosphere is 0 0.0821. And the temperature is 47 plus 273. 320. So then solving for bowls, you get 1.5. Uh, about two. So that equals two moles. And if the gas is carbon dioxide, how many grams do I have? Well, you just take your two moles times the molar mass of carbon dioxide, which is 28. Nope. Carbon is 12 plus 16 times 2 is 44. And that equals 88 grams. For this chlorine one here at the bottom, we've got um, grams, which we're going to convert to moles. So you're going to know you're using the ideal gas law. So solving for that, you take your 49 grams. The trick is that chlorine is a sneaky seven, so you got to have two there. It's diatomic. 71 grams per mole. That equals about 0.69 moles. And now you can plug it into the ideal gas law and solve for temperature. Temperature equals PV over RN. The pressure in this question is 4.4 atmospheres. The volume is 120 liters. The R for atmosphere is 0 0.0821, and the number of moles we found is 0 0.69. So if you divide, you will find that the answer is pretty high temperature, 9,318 Kelvin.
And problem number five. Let's see, we've got a gas at 74 kPa, it's 55 degrees Celsius, heated 230 more degrees, what's the new pressure? Assume the volume of the con container is constant. Nerd, I have no idea where that came from. Um, so let's see, volume is constant, that's just be pressure over temperature. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. So plugging it in, the first pressure is 74 kPa. The first temperature is 55 degrees Celsius, which is 338 plus 328. And it goes up 230 more degrees. That's not the final temperature, that's how much it goes up after that. So plus 230. That equals 558. And solve for the new pressure. Cross multiply and divide. 24 divided by 328. About 125.9 or so kPa. For number six, um, got 3.9 liters of gas of pressure. So this is going to be another combined gas law problem. And plug all the numbers in. The first pressure is 6 atm. The temperature is 58 plus 273. 331. The first volume is 3.9 liters. Volume goes down to 1.4 liters. Pressure goes up to 4 atm. And we're solving for the new temperature, so T2. That would be cross multiply and divide again. Be that times 1.4 times 4 divided by 6 divided by 3.9, and you get 79.21, we'll call it. And that would be Calvin. And finally, you've got a gas stoichiometry problem, which I did get to in class for everyone, but in case you need to see it more, um, you're going from mass, sorry, you're going from volume to mass. So you start with the ideal gas law and solve for moles. Um, this has to be in liters, so N is PV over RT. The pressure in this problem is 0.67 atmospheres. The volume is 2.17 liters. You've got to convert this to liters by dividing by 1,000. Uh, the R is 0 0.0821, and the temperature is 85 degrees Celsius, which is 358 Kelvin. Okay, solve that, and you get about 0 0.05. That's moles of oxygen. But we want our answer in grams of magnesium. So now we do mole ratio over to magnesium and then molar mass. So 0 0.05 moles of oxygen. Molar mass, or sorry, mole ratio first. Oxygen, it's a one to two ratio. One oxygen is two magnesium. We want your answer in grams, so use the molar mass of magnesium, which is 24.3 grams in one mole of magnesium. And you get about 2.43 grams of magnesium for your answer. So there's a handful of different kinds of gas laws problems, including gas stoichiometry. What a fun time. Thanks for spending with me. Bye.